room business over 60,000 years ago. We were trading in between, you know, traditional countries. We actually had a trading route that went from Indonesia to Papua New Guinea down through the Torres Strait. This isn't new to us. That's what we used to do. And that's how we used to survive. Average land Torres Strait Islander communities and peoples have been innovative in respect of being able to survive is an innovation in this world. I think what makes me incredibly proud is that um, every day I get up and I know that I stand on the shoulders of my father and my grandmother in particular. And, and then that is that First Nation influence, the way that we do business, the way that we are together. My generation are these first business owners that the next generation are now seeing these wonderful people in their own communities that have been successful. There's so many more benefits to having more Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander businesses because from colonisation we were brought up with a deficit model to be reliant on the government or being reliant on welfare or reliant on other people. By the increasing our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander businesses, we're taking that back. We're going, you know what, our economic future is up to us. Look, I think um, the reality for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander businesses today is really quite challenging. Um, we do have procurement policies in place. However, um, we're not actually realising the opportunities that these policies are actually creating for us. The most the thing that I'm, I'm proud of achieving on behalf of the Berg is the deadly innovation strategy because for me, having been in government, you know, 30 plus years, what was great about that was it was a true co-design. We were able to um, deliver economic opportunities to um, Indigenous communities by, you know, hearing their views. The, the important piece around PSA Share Activate was really um, you know, working side by side with government to, to help co-design. We, we totally understand that there's requirements that you've got to work within the, the structure of government. And I think government also understands that we've got ways of which we operate from a cultural perspective. So I think bringing those two structures and creating a, a different way of co-designing some of the the, the strategies that we've been able to to develop. What the Burke has done is demonstrated the need, the gap, which is the fact that there is no formal representative body. And I think that that's, I hope that government departments will certainly take that on board. Burke excited me in the terms of, if I can eliminate one of those rough roads for an up and comer, then that's what I want to do. It could be just one person, but if it's one person, I have an impact. The most exciting thing for me at this very point in time is the opportunity that, you know, the Berg is creating around a representative body across Queensland. And so for me, that will be a new voice that um, will have a voice that is a true representative voice of a whole range of different cultural hubs. Personally, I'm most proud of providing a voice on the Berg. Um, I'm really proud of not shying away from hard questions or shying away from the hard conversations. I'm sort of proud to be where we are today that the way government and corporates think about Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander businesses because that's something that I'm you know, proud of, excited and, and um, want to ensure that we continue this and, and doing that by having things like a, a representation body to help support all these wonderful new businesses and people that have got an idea. We we prove ourselves by our actions and, and there is a place for it. There's a place for remembering yesterday and driving that factor still, but there is also a massive area to be positive and to be, and showcase, you know, businesses that are achieving real, true, fundamental business, business practices because we've been doing it for how many years? Thousands upon thousands. You know, there's a whole move from surviving to thriving. More and more people, more and more of our mob are going, I'm going to give it a go.